Okay, so again, the video is not great on this. Asus Transformer Prime used to have a crack digitizer. To get started on the repair, um, there's these two little slots right here. Down in that slot, it'll be really difficult to see, but there's a, um, a oh, you can kind of see it right there. See where that little silver is? That's where some of the paint's been chipped off, but there's a little tiny hole right there where you'll stick a screwdriver down in and slide it to the uh, slide it to the right. And this one, let's see if we can get it focused in there. Yeah, see that little bit of silver reflecting? That one you'll also slide to the right. And that releases a row of, I believe there's two here and then two here. They're little, um, little plastic tabs that, that lock in. There's a, a round part and then a little groove that it goes into. And when you press it together, it goes through the hole. And then when you slide when you slide the lock in like that, it slides it to the, the groove part. So once you've got that done, you'll uh, put a put a little piece of plastic in here. They send you little pry tools and then slide it across this edge to separate those those tabs. And then on this side, I believe there's three of them. There's little uh, little hooks that go underneath and you'll be able to pop those out. They take a decent amount of force. And then on this side, there's a, uh, a tongue and a groove like this. So it actually just pushes into that. So after you get the tabs on the side popped and the, uh, the four tabs across here, um, you lift this end up or let's see, <laughs> lift this end up and just slide it out just like that and then this part will flip over and there will be two uh, ribbon cables the one that goes to the LCD on this side there's actually a small lever that you have to lift up to release and then right here on the inside there will be two oh, let me see if I can get the glare out of the way right about here there's two uh, mounts on the board and the ribbon cables have a line on them. Make sure they're pushed in all the way up to that line and uh, you can get it from there. I know there's only one other video that I could find on YouTube so that'll help you out. I would take this one apart but it's already repaired and I can't really take the risk of messing it up again but at least you've got a better idea than when you started on how to repair the TF-201 with a broken digitizer.